Here are the worst <gasps> cards to trade for in Roblox Jailbreak. Alright, so first up, the concept. Now, I know the concept is very expensive at a cost of 2.5 million cash. You would expect it to be a lot, but unless you really want it, it's not worth what it used to be. Before in trading, it could have gotten things such as gold, Parisian, Goliath, Rattler, Bandit, etc. But now, people started buying them so much so that the demand isn't there anymore. So that's why I wouldn't recommend trading for it. Alright, for number two, I wouldn't trade for the crew capsule. It's a strange vehicle, for one, but I haven't seen much of a demand for it. And every time I've traded it, or even attempted to trade it, people always ask for something else. At least most of the time they do. Unless you really want the flying egg, I would probably pass on it. Alright, last but not least, I would not trade for the arachnid. Its demand has always been known to be bad, and at times it can be extremely hard to trade off. Unlike the others on the list, you're stuck with a very big item, at least until you can trade it off. Overall, for a seasonal car from OG Season 1, I would expect much better demand. So yeah, probably don't trade for this one. Anyways, now on to customizations. So one thing that I would definitely recommend nobody trade for at all is the level 1 and level 2 hyperchrome. They're just not worth it anymore, especially since they added the pity system. You can get them extremely easily. I would say maybe even the level 3s, but I'll leave that up to you all to decide. Also, the demand for the level 1 and level 2 hyperchromes are known to be extremely bad, as everyone basically has one at this point. They've become that common. So yeah, definitely avoid the level 1s and the level 2s, and I'll leave the level 3s up to you. The last thing I would avoid is rims and spoilers at least the crazy ones such as spinner rims, void rims, RTX rims, tubule spoiler, and thrusters. Why? Because they're worth a decent amount. Few people would just rather trade them and get a few solid cars rather than just have a spoiler there. Plus, for things such as the void rims, you could trade for alternatives such as the toy track rims. But like the level 3 hyperchromes, I'll leave that all up to you. I just really wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, these are the things I would personally not trade for. As they're very, very hard to trade off. Or they're just not worth it. Comment below what you think. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And bye.